Electricity load demand can be a critical part of operations for many businesses. But how do you go about predicting what your electricity load is based upon your historical demand? Well, you could invest in a data scientist and have them work away building custom-made models to forecast this load. This approach, while viable, takes time and money. A lot of time and money. Plus, how can you be sure that the predictive models that you've built are trained and kept up to date? Huh, sounds like quite a lot of effort to me. Let's give it a miss. This is the conclusion that most organizations reach. But there's another way. Using the simple but powerful combination of Ultrix and Tim, a wonderfully accurate and easy to use time series forecasting tool provided by our lovely friends at TangentWorks, you can gain valuable insights about your business in no time or hassle at all. Let's take a look. What you're going to see up on your screen right now is an Ultrix workflow that we've pieced together. It simply comprises of a historical load input, which we can see represented here in the CSV format. That's being read into Ultrix, and now we have for each day of the year, by hour, what was the previous electricity demand. Now, what we've also done is for each day and hour, found out what the weather conditions were for that particular day by temperature, cloudiness, and even irradiation as well. After a bit of cleansing up and joining up, we get to a data set that looks like this. This is what our demand was for that hour of the day, and these were the weather conditions. What we've also done is got another input down here, which shows us the holidays for each one of those days. Was it a public holiday, and was it a weekend? Does that have any effect on our demand? Once we've joined them all up together, we get to a data set like this, looking good. What we've also got is 24 records here, for 24 hours in the day that we want to forecast a load for. Now, of course, we can find out whether that's a public holiday or a weekend, but we have no idea of what the weather conditions were because it's in the future. So therefore, what we've done is taken the weather forecast for that day and then joined it up. So then we've got a view of what the weather conditions are looking to be like. Once we've compiled all of that data together, we're then pushing it to this TIM modeling tool provided by TangentWorks. All we need to do is push that data into, tool, into the tool. And again, it's all encapsulated within Ultrix. We simply say these are the predictors. So we think that load, temperature, cloudiness, irradiation, public holidays and the weekend could have some effects on our data set and our forecasts. We don't know, but Tim's going to find that out for us. We want to predict that load and we want to forecast for 24 hours into the future, that full day. All we need to do then is to press on to run and then Tim provides us those predictions for us. Now what makes Tim special is it provides us with what's known as real-time machine learning. And why that is special is because each time we run the workflow, it's going to rebuild and retrain the model automatically to make sure we get the most precise results out the other end. And here are our results. So what we can see represented in blue is our actual electricity demand over these times, seen as up and down trend. And what we can see here in orange is Tim's forecasted demand for the next 24 hours. Now, we don't want to just take Tim's word for it. We want to make sure that this model is accurate. So what we've also done is we've done what's called back testing. So we've reserved some of the actual electricity demand figures from Tim. And we said, hey, look, you now predict what we already know the demand was. So again, in here in blue is what we can see what the demand was over these days. And represented here in red is what Tim would have forecasted that demand to be and check how closely correlated these blues and red lines are to one another that's just simply testament to the accuracy of these tim models and again we have the uh, yellow or orange line there representing our, go our forecast going forward now 
Tim doesn't simply just provide to us what the forecast is going to be, but it also tells us why it thinks that forecast is going to be the way it is. And what it provides us is these predictor importance uh, charts here. So we can see that the main reason why the load is what it is, is because of the previous load, i.e. the previous day. Next is public holiday, next is weekend, and then it's temperature and then cloudiness, not very important. Could be some very interesting insights to your data set that may have been previously locked away. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this very brief demonstration on how easy it is to get these predictions and insights into your business. Hopefully you're feeling inspired. And if you want to find out more, please do reach out to inquiries at continuum.je and we would be delighted to show you more. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.